Initial Steps for Detoxification In addition to removing amalgam fillings, there are a number of methods that can be applied to assist the body in reducing mercury burden. The first strategies we'll present are those approaches to detoxification that are distinct from the prescribed use of a chelating agent. These initial steps are often introduced as essential aspects of mercury detoxification treatment plans. Initial detoxification step number one, make good nutrition a priority. As always, good nutrition is essential to healing. Malnutrition increases susceptibility to toxicity. Clinical nutrition's role for good general health includes good hydration, promoting an alkaline body chemistry environment, decreasing systemic inflammation, managing environmental and food allergies and sensitivities, providing supportive cofactors, minimizing additional toxic loads, maximizing organic food. Initial detoxification step number two, get exercise. Exercise is a crucial method for detoxification because exercise encourages blood circulation and lymphatic drainage. Exercise engages the mechanism of sweat to excrete toxins. Exercise encourages replacement of mercury-toxic mitochondria. Detox at a mitochondrial level works by replacing old mitochondria. Exercising with adequate levels of intracellular glutathione present encourages this out with the old and in with the new detoxification at the mitochondrial level. Initial detoxification step number three, raise glutathione levels. Many of the nutritional approaches to natural detoxification are aimed at increasing intracellular glutathione levels. Remember that glutathione is an antioxidant that binds to toxins in the liver to initiate the process of excreting them from the body. To raise the levels of intracellular glutathione, some health providers suggest that their patients, one, take in adequate levels of protein, two, get adequate sleep to take stress off antioxidant systems, three, consume sulfur-rich foods like eggs, broccoli, and garlic to promote glutathione function, and four, utilize supplements recommended to you by your doctor, such as vitamin C, alpha-lipoic acid, N-acetylcysteine, and liposomal glutathione. Initial detoxification step number four, keep your gut microbiome healthy. The microbiome has been defined by the Center for Ecogenetics and Environmental Health at the University of Washington as, quote, the genetic material of all the microbes, bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and viruses that live on and inside the human body. The microbiome may weigh as much as five pounds. The bacteria in the microbiome help digest our food, regulate our immune system, protect against other bacteria that cause disease, and produce vitamins including B and vitamins B12, thiamine, riboflavin, and vitamin K, which is needed for blood coagulation, end quote. The source of this quote is from Fast Facts About the Human Microbiome, the Center for Ecogenetics and Environmental Health, University of Washington, January 2014. The source of the photo is from the Human Microbiome Project, by National Human Genome Research Institute, National Institutes of Mental Health, National Institutes of Health, Department of Health and Human Services. The importance of keeping the gut microbiome healthy also directly relates to mercury detoxification. The gut is a chemical reaction vessel when exposed to mercury. It becomes a reservoir of toxicity where complex interactions between human and microbial metabolisms take place. The bacteria can turn inorganic mercury into easily absorbed methylmercury and demethylate it back to inorganic. They can take conjugated mercury that the liver has dumped into the bile, decouple the mercury from glutathione, and make it available to be reabsorbed back into the bloodstream. Reducing the mercury concentration of the bowel content. Reducing the mercury concentration of the bowel contents is a powerful healing method. It creates the conditions for a net reduction of mercury throughout the body. Intestinal cleansing to reduce enterohepatic recirculation of toxins, gut inflammation, and systemic inflammation can be promoted by staying hydrated with plenty of water, avoiding foods that cause sensitivity or inflammation, reducing intake of sugar and processed foods, eating fibrous foods which can increase antioxidant activity, 
and utilizing supplements recommended to you by your health provider, such as charcoal, clay, probiotics, or specially formulated products. Initial detoxification step number five. Upregulate the cellular detox system. The universe of cellular defenses is vast and complex, with numerous points of vulnerability and strength. Each of the many proteins involved are subject to variability and efficiency due to genetic polymorphisms, due to genetic polymorphisms, as well as epigenetic influences. Likewise, there are many avenues available for nutrient support and targets for pharmaceutical actions. Some molecules that are the common currencies of antioxidant and detox function are glutathione, vitamin C, and coenzyme Q10. They all can be augmented by nutrition, which rounds out our five initial detoxification steps perfectly since nutrition was step number one. That step, as well as the rest of the steps, all lead to upregulating the cellular detox system, which paves the pathway for renewed health.